Gravity is one of the fundamental forces of the universe, but you know, if you remove it, well, then all you're left with is gravy. Folks, welcome to This Week in History, and right off the bat, we want to go ahead and thank our patrons, Steve Stevens, Clayton Jaimez, and the Hayes family. We appreciate your support, and we appreciate the support from all of you with liking, subscribing, sharing, watching, all that good stuff. We appreciate each and every one of you. But if you want to help a little bit more, we're not against that. You can check out the link down in the description to our Patreon, where you can find out the story behind the first and only guillotine execution in North America. And listen to me rant about the timeline of Robin Hood movies. Yeah, I know that sounds real interesting. But anyway, let's get down to it. On September 5th in 1781, the French Navy scored a victory over the British at the Battle of Chesapeake, which allowed the French to land troops and artillery that ended up aiding in the Siege of Yorktown, the battle that lost the American Revolution for the British. So yeah, that was a pretty important battle for the French to win. On September 6th, 1901, President William McKinley was shot during a meet and greet at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York by Leon Chogles. McKinley would pass away when the wound developed gangrene. On September 7th, 1776, Six, according to American colonial reports, Ezra Lee made the world's first submarine attack in the Turtle while attempting to attach a time bomb to the hull of the HMS Eagle in New York Harbor. It didn't work out, but it didn't sink. In 1863, Fort Wagner fell into Union hands after the Confederate garrison abandoned it. On September 8th in 1727, a barn fire during a puppet show in the village of Burwell, England resulted in 78 deaths many of whom were children. In 1810, 33 employees of John Jacob Astor's newly created Pacific Fur Company set sail from New York Harbor above the Tonquin. After a six-month journey around the tip of South America, the ship arrived at the mouth of the Columbia River, and Astor's men would go on to establish the trading town of Astoria, Oregon. On September 9th, at 337, Constantine II, Constantinius II, and Constan succeeded their father, Constantine the first as co-emperors. The Roman Empire was divided up between the three, but Constantine the second died in a war trying to conquer Constans part. Then Constans was killed by a usurper, and that usurper was then killed by Constantinius the second, who became ruler of the whole shebang. On September 10th at 1547, the Battle of Pinky, the last full-scale military confrontation between England and Scotland took place. And yeah, of course, England won. In 1573, German North Sea pirate Klein Heinschlein and 33 of his crew members were beheaded in Hamburg. On September 11th in 1708, Charles XII of Sweden ended his march to conquer Moscow due to Russian scorched earth policies and bad weather marking the turning point not only in the Great Northern War, but also of the Swedish Empire losing its place as a world power. And I mean, seriously guys, somebody needs to learn that you don't invade Russia. And that's just going to about do it for this week, but we'll see you back here next week. Same Squirrel time, same Squirrel channel. Be happy, be healthy, and y'all come back now, you hear?